AMC Theaters has posted the official runtime for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice at 2 hours and 31 minutes, making it the longest running time for a superhero film since 2012's The Dark Knight Rises. Mark, what do you think of this long runtime and what it means for the movie? Well, I certainly didn't think The Dark Knight Rises should have had 2 hours and 31 or 41 minutes or however long that <laughs> movie ended up being, but I love it. I love this because, look, normally I need to pee about 90 minutes into a movie, but for a superhero Star wars kind of movie, I can wait two hours, and if it's a really good movie, I can hold it for two and a half hours. There's a lot of stuff, not only riding on this movie, there's a lot of stuff we have to cram in to Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. So we need to see Batman, we need to see Superman, we need to see them fighting each other for a good while to get our bucks worth, and then we need to see the Dawn of the Justice League, so we need some time to introduce Aquaman and have maybe the Flash run through for a quick cameo and have Wonder Woman save the other two superheroes asses so there's a lot of things that you need to do with this movie establishing not only the greatest superhero fight in history but also setting up an entire universe I think two and a half hours is warranted I, my first reaction was a little bit nervous because coming off of Man of Steel, which everybody knows I think is a freaking masterpiece of a film, I love that movie, but it you have to acknowledge, though, that amongst critics and fans, there is mixed reaction. So to come out with a two-and-a-half-hour movie after that is a little risky. But if the movie, if the first act of this movie is good and the pacing is well, this could be a four-hour movie and nobody would mind. And that's the key. You could say it's 90 minutes, if the first act sucks, 90 minutes is too long. Mm -hmm. You can say it's three hours. If the first act is really good and paced well, three hours won't feel like anything. So that's what it's really going to come down to. So I am not overjoyed, but I am not concerned either until after I see the first 20 minutes. If I watch the first 20 minutes and the movie sucks, I'm going to be like, Man, we got another two hour and 10 minutes to go. But if, as I expect, it's good and exciting and fun, then those two and a half hours are going to fly by just like that. Yeah, I mean, didn't they release these two back to back posters this, uh, this week, too? Mm -hmm. These are amazing posters. It's, I, I got to say, like for myself, two and a half hours sounds just about right. I was actually personally hoping it'd be like 245 because I know at least 10 minutes of that is credits. So it's not really too, you know, it's like two hours and 21 minutes because it's like a 10 minute like you got to look at all the dudes who did those digital effects and stuff and be like i know that guy or whatever so it's like i think it's going to be a perfect act one act two act three uh, they have to reintroduce batman to a, it's a brand new batman so they have to spend a little bit of time on that they have to set up the situation with metropolis and superman and lex Luthor, and then they yep. have to get bruce wayne involved in that i think that's going to be all of act two and act the end of act two or even the beginning of act three is going to be superman v batman basically the second and third round of that it's going to be an ongoing thing granted we know you know because of the trailers definitely wonder woman's getting involved we see doomsday getting involved but we don't know exactly how that's going to play out in the third act we also know that it's called dawn of justice so we know that they're introducing the justice league and things like that so if anyone's concerned about that i understand that but i think you look at the avengers and then you know how they were able to cram in a lot of characters and it really worked i think i have a lot of faith that they're going to be able to make these characters work within a two and a half hour thing and and really kind of like smoothly go through it you're going to be left left wanting more that's what i'm hoping yeah you make a great point about establishing batman too because before that most recent trailer came out we didn't know if we were going to see that batman in action or right. if it was just going to be ben affleck coming out of retirement because superman is coming down we still don't really know for sure when that sequence would take place having batman just fight a bunch of random criminals but the fact that they released that trailer makes me think we're going to get more of the backstory of batman mm -hmm. which is great news to my ears and one of the reasons why you might need to extend that running time a little bit. If it's called Batman v Superman, it has to be at least two hours or else I'm really nervous going into the movie. Two and a half, let's do it. And we know they're gonna fight at least twice because in the trailers right. we've seen them fighting where he's in the like the leather outfit and then we've seen them fighting where he's in the armor. So we know there's at least two fights. So right. let's see how it unfolds. I cannot wait to see this movie. I'm so guys. excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. Super jacked up. I mean, I, mean I, was, uh, I was out of town last week, but I know a lot of, there was uh, some article that dropped about, you know, Warner Brothers being nervous about, you know, Justice League and not making the money and this and that. But I mean, with with everyone so excited about it, I mean, it, it's really going to just have to suck for it to not make its money back. Oh, I it's going to make its money back. Yeah. The, the question is, that's not the question. The question is not whether Batman v Superman is going to make bank. It's going to make bank. The question is, will it make bank in such a way that it will help the further films Correct. make bank or will it hurt the chances right. of the further films? I think it's going to help. Yeah, I do too. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.